it's time to conclude the one-day series. Last and the third one-day international scheduled to play on February 6 at Dunedin. Roger McHarg and Steve Dunn was appointed as the field umpires. University of Otago Oval is a historical landmark for Sri Lankan cricket. This is the venue they start their first ever international game in New Zealand. Both teams played their first encounter, the first one-day match in 1983 series here under the captaincy of D.S. Da Silva. It was a quite low-scoring game. In 50 overs Kiwis managed to score only 183 runs losing 8 wickets. No 50s in the list. Highest scorer was John Wright with 45 and 82 balls with 4 fours and a 6. Vino then and Ramesh took 3 wickets each. Even though the target was small, Sri Lankan team find hard to get runs in the wicket and they managed to score only 118 for 9 in their 50 overs. Debutant Johan Gunskara was the highest scorer with 23 and 60 balls with 1 boundary. Kiwi bowlers delivered some outstanding spells. Richard Hadley 8 overs 3 maidens 3 wickets for 9 runs. Evan Chatfield 10 overs 4 maidens 1 for 8 and Lance Cairns 10 runs in 10 overs including 6 maidens. John Wright was adjudicated as the man of the match. Kiwis made two changes for their playing 11 from their second one-day international. Due to his five wickets haul in the first test Danny Morrison was called to the side again instead of Richard Petrie. Also Kiwi opener John Wright rested in the game and called Ken Rutherford to the side. Ken scored 25 in the first innings of the first test. He lost his place after playing the second final against Australia in Benson and Hedges series, even he scored 37 on the game. Thus far he played 57 one-day internationals, scored 1,303 with highest score of 79. He scored 8 50s so far. He played 6 games against Sri Lanka so far and scored 134 runs with 150. Sri Lanka had to make one MAND Addery change. They lost Roshan Mahanama in the initial phase of the test due to injury. So selectors decide to bring Romesh Kalia at Harana to the side, to bat as the opener and the wicket keeper. This change push Hashan to the middle. Romesh made his debut in December against India at Margiao, but not got an opportunity to bat. Not only him, selectors decided to rest Graham Labrui and bring Kapila Wajgun Award to the side. Kapila played 17 games so far and took 18 wickets. December 5th game against India at Pune was his last appearance before this. Sri Lanka won the toss and they decided to field first. Beautiful morning here in Dunedin. After all the heavy overnight rain, and we're underway on time. Good crowd building up and looking very much forward to this game. Nicely guided away by Crow. He'll look for a second. He's so quick. And back he comes. That's well run. Well, they've had some trouble with their hands during the tour. Already one player's being sent home, and I understand that Mahanama has a problem. That ball hit fiercely into the ground. And an awkward stop. The gully there just diving across to it. That's beautifully timed. This will be the first boundary. Bowling to Crow. Oh, he's hit it high in the air. This could be the end of Martin Crow, and it is not. Capella made an awful mess of that. And John Morrison has come to join me. Welcome, John, and uh, talk us through. Go oh, an edge, an edge, and dropped. Four runs to read. Very streaky shot, goes for the big drive. And this time, though, there's no problem with that. Poor delivery from that marker and throw onto it very quickly and hooks it beautifully behind square for four. Well, this could go through for four, and it does, but there's no slip in there. If there'd been a first slip, he may well have gobbled that one. Up four, racing away, very fine third man, unable to get round. Big hit by 
Reed. The fieldsman was unsighted, I think, for a moment. Didn't quite know where it had gone, but it was always going for four anyway. So that's a good, clean blow by Richard Reed. Things are starting to open up now for the New Zealanders, Crow and Reed. Oh, that's a big hit. That's six. Well, Mark Crow picked this one up superbly. Lofted away by Crow. One bounce and four runs. It's another fine shot by Martin Crow, just picking that. So very safe shot indeed. Big hit by Reed. Four runs. Good healthy blow on the leg side. Pull shot by Crow. And that man on the mid wicket fence has had a lot of work to do in this over. Ahsoka de Silva's really got to pitch the ball a lot further up. He's been uh, pulled up there. Your proud BW, and the decision goes the way of the Sri Lankans. And Martin Crow is out. Kapila had it very well pitched up to Crow. And Crow hitting across the line. He didn't look bad, did it? it might, Crow might have thought that it was going to go down league, which could have encouraged him to play that shot on the league side. But it looked pretty close to me, and Crow's gone. Well, that's a powerful shot down the ground. Reed's going to get a couple here at least. Kapila with the chase onto the practice wickets. And they're back for two. And Richard Reed's got a half century. And that's out. Caught by Kapila, Richard Reed is gone for 53 and New Zealand 110 for two. Richard Reed. Jones on the sweep, well hit for four. Gosh, he got that one out of the middle of the bat. The elbow very high and hits through the ball. Over the top he goes this time and that is a brilliant catch by Ratnayaka. A super catch. And that is the end of Andrew Jones, out for 35, and New Zealand a 133 for three. Well, Andrew Jones thumping this one down the park, and he got it. Another look at this from Andrew Jones's end, as he smacks it away down the ground. It was really travelling. And Ratnayaka had to make a lot of ground forward, and that's a lovely catch. Well, he's hit that well, and that might be his first boundary. It is. And the crowd are ecstatic. Over the top he is. He's hit it well this time, has Ken Rutherford. And that's racing all the way. Well, that's a good shot from Great Batch. Used the pace of the delivery and flipped it behind point, although there's a widest third man. Good to sing as the bowler. Ken Rutherford's facing. More leg buys. In fact, an inch. Yes. Well, that's well hit by Great Batch. But he's out. Senanayaka takes the catch away down at long off. Great Batch looking to increase the rate and hit over the top. But there was always a man away down at long off. If he was going to hit it out through there, it had to carry the fields. But it didn't. Well swallowed by Charith Senanayaka. Away down at long off. The great batch is gone for 26. Lined it up well, took it well, and great batch out. Useful contribution from him. He's tall, this one. Nice strike by Rutherford. Aravinda's out on the boundary. They're going to come for the second. Good throw, but well run again. Yes, well done by Kim Rutherford. Good running by the two batsmen. And it's 50 for Kim Rutherford. The crowd here at Carrisbrook are loving it. As Rutherford sweeps. And that's a nice strike. 
That's four runs. Oh, well timed by Ken Rutherford. That's on its way. It's in the air. I don't think it'll get to the boundary. Well, it does, but not on the ball. That's a lovely shot. Four runs. Beautifully turned by Ken Rutherford. Bolds. Ken Rutherford's excellent innings comes to an end. Bowled by Ramanayaka for 65. And uh, New Zealand at 243 for five. Smith breaks it away for four. stuff wasn't it uh, Ian Smith going for the big shot down the ground as well he might he didn't quite get hold of it and hit it straight down long off throat and he dumped it Harris good stroke that's a lovely hit by Chris Harris well that was well hit it was beautifully hit out. Harris lofting away could be caught and is that's a very good catch not an easy catch to make that Chris Harris out really going for it as he had to difficult situation for him but he went after the ball hit it high very high indeed and it really stayed up there for seemingly ever and long on came around. He seemed to wobble around underneath it, but he did very well in the end to take the catch. Swings it away. Four runs. Well, well hit again by Ian Smith. He dropped it in short, Ramanaka, hoping he might unsettle. And there is. And it's over the top. <laughs> well, very appropriate end to the innings. Ian Smith getting hold of that one from Ramanayaka and landing it in the terraces to finish the innings with six runs. A glorious shot. Great little innings from Smith. He raced to 42 off 21 deliveries to take through New Zealand 3 to 272. New Zealand start batting with positive attitude. Two drop catches helped them to build the innings and both openers, Crow and Reed took the maximum advantage and put 78 to the first wicket. Skipper Crow goes first for 31 off 50 with two fours and a six to Coppola. Then Jones joined to the party and put another 32 for the second wicket. Reed goes as the second wicket to Arjuna for 53 off 68 with six boundaries. Reed was playing his seventh game and this was his second one day international 50 and first in New Zealand. Hometown boy Ken Rutherford walked to the middle next. At the score of 133. Ramesh took an outstanding catch at the outfield to remove Jones for 35 off Arjuna. Great Batch joined Ken and both of them put 70 for the fourth wicket. After the wicket, Ian Smith came to the wicket and start accelerating the score with Ken. They both put quick 40 runs for the fifth wicket. Rutherford scored 65 off 78 with five fours. That was his ninth one day 50 and his second against Sri Lanka. He scored his last 50 against England at Adelaide on December 1, 1990. Again, when the score was at 260, Guru Sinha took another beautiful catch to take Harris's wicket. Ian Smith made some dashing at the end at the end of the innings, he was 42 not out off 21 balls with 5 fours and a 6. New Zealand final score was 272 for 6 in the 50 overs. Ramana Yake and Ranatunga took two wickets each and Kapila and Asimka took one each. Despite the two outstanding outfield catches, Sri Lankan fielding was not up to the stand. Coppola dropped two catches and Sri Lankan fielders misses some near run out opportunities. Now they have a 273 runs target to chase in the last game. Sinanaka gets the first runs off the bat. Pringle opens up a third over. Well, that's an edge that brought about Sinanayaka's dismissal in the test match. Oh, 
that's a good hit from Sinanayake. Watson just dropping a bit short. And Sinanayake has showed a willingness to play strokes. He's going to have to... The horses will be very interested in the click today, I'm sure. Sinanayake going in the air again. He's caught by Crow. Well, Sinanayake looking to drive the ball. It wasn't really quite there, and he hit it into the covers reasonably firmly, but in the air and straight to Martin Crow. Round the wicket, Willie Watson. And going for the drive, but in the air, straight to Crow, who made no mistake. 15 for one, Sri Lanka. Well, it's a big shot from Gurusinghe. All the way down the ground. So, the first ball of the sixth over. Willie Watson bowling to Ramesh. That's a huge hit. That's going to be out of the ground. Well, will we get that back? Well, this is an unbelievable shot. I mean, he's virtually hit it onto the uh, Scotland's grandstand. He didn't just get it out of the ground. But a tremendous blow from Guru Singer. Right in the slot. I mean, it was a goodish line in length, really. Most times that uh, ball would have been defended. But it's just disappeared out of Carisbrook. But that's not going to help. Short. And when you go short, you go away. He's out caught, brilliantly caught by Reed. Brilliant catch. Well, one had to wonder how long this would last. And a wide half volley, but not quite up to him. Ramesh swings hard. And in that deep gully position, a fine catch from Reed see a different angle of it here and we'll just see it how quickly that went to read so the second wicket goes down for sri lanka with the score at 41. morrison's not too inconvenienced here he is gone just what sri lanka didn't want And this round the wickets, just angling back in. Hits middle and off. Guru Singer pushing through it. And that's a sad loss for Sri Lanka. That's it very fine by Aravinda. Good shot. Four runs. Aravinda driving beautifully through the offside. Right chasing, but that's well timed. So the rates, there we are, current run rate, dropping down now, under six. Oh, that's gone straight up in the air. Who wants it? That's taken. Ken Rutherford holds the catch. And Aravinda, short, sharp, exciting innings, comes to an end at 21. Well, Aravinda tried to put this into Burn Street. Look at the swing of the bat here. It was only just short of a length, not short enough even for him. And he's certainly a master of the pull shot. Goes straight up in the air, and once those two sorted it out, Rutherford decided to take it. He's tried to launch this one into the stand or over it. And two New Zealand players converging on it. Eventually Rutherford taking the catch. So Aravinda is out for 21, and the Sri Lankans is now 74 for four. That's a lovely shot from Runatunga. Four runs. Over the top he went. And to the fence for four. Offered by Hashan. Well played too. High over John Wright at long on. And heading out to the boundary. This has been a good over for Sri Lanka. Starting to get into Chris Harris a little.
And that's four more runs. Fine shot by Ranatunga. Bit short from Larson coming around the wicket to the left-hander. Harris has been called twice by Steve Dunn for wides. It's in the air. It's going to be caught. Crow's got it. Well, rather a team sort of shot there. I just think he may have turned the bat and got a front edge or... So that's the end of Sarath Jaya Saria. Larson's first wicket and Smith's first catch. Jaya Saria out for one. Sri Lanka are 105 for six. Yes, straight forward, caught behind, coming around the wicket, Larson, pushing at it, Jaya Saria, and getting the edge, no question about it, straight through to Smith and the sixth wicket down. Sri Lanka in all sorts of trouble, 105 for six. Things are starting to come right now. And good pitch out there too. It's a very good pitch. It's a pretty useful batting happening too. Even though the Sri Lankans seem to be down and out at the moment, six wickets down. It's another boundary to Arjuna Ranatunga. Well hit again. Well, with some fine strokes being played here at Carisbrook today. It's a very good batting strip. And uh, Gavin Larson just paying the penalty there. Delighted with the fact that Sri Lanka is six down. Oh, that's another big one. <laughs> that's a big one. Oh. Just rolled into the ditch for four. Which is really all they need to do. Oh, and what's, where's this one gone? Should be out. It is out, caught by John Wright on the long arm boundary. Judged it very well, didn't have a lot to spare though. He sort of gave an anxious look over his shoulder to see how close the boundary edge was. But the seventh wicket down now for Sri Lanka for 139, Ahsoka de Silva for 16. It should be like 270. His 50 has been run out. He can't believe it. He's giving it the teapot. As if to say that cannot be. So that was perhaps a little lazy towards the end there. And the eighth wicket is down for now 151. Let's just watch on replay. Great batch firing it in. And watch. Oh. Leave the decision to you. However, he's on his way. And so Ranatunga is, in fact, out for 50. And the total of 151 for eight. Oh, dearie me. Well, that looked like a juicy full toss to me that he had an air shot at. Yes, I don't think he mastered the art of batting particularly well in those two deliveries that we saw in the last one. And this is it. A nice little full toss on about leg stump. And it just clipped the back pad, hit the off stump. And that is the end of Ramanayaka. Not one of the more distinguished innings of the day. So that one. <laughs> He gets annoyed with people, think he's uh, very casual with dark glass. He actually uh, lay out prescription glasses, but slow delivery swung high, wide and handsome. And well, that is a massive hit. It's onto the roof of the rose stand. Six runs. So Ratnayaka getting hold of Richard Reed, second delivery, and depositing it, it on the top of the rose stand. Right in the slot, we saw in Wellington how Ratnayaka loves the off-spinners. It was Bradburn in Wellington, Reed in Dunedin. Reed giving it even more air. And he's whacked it again. This could be out or six. It's just over the boundary to six. If the fielder, great batch, had been around there, it was certainly makeable or catchable. Well, Richard Reed certainly just uh, dobbing them up there and fighting the shot. Ratnayaka obliging. That one went fairly high. 
There she goes. This one's going over long off. It'll be out, though. I think it'll be caught by Wright, and it is. Ratnayaka tackling the edge, and Reed has a success. So that's the end of the contest. Sri Lanka had to maintain roughly 5.5 runs per over. So, both Cherith and Romesh decided to go for runs. But Cherith goes for 12 as the first wicket. Then Romesh and Asunko lift the score till 41. Then Romesh goes for 14, just after adding two runs to the total Asunka goes for 15 with one massive 6 and a 4. Sri Lankan captain and vice captain try to settle in the middle. Inform batsman Aravinda goes for 21 next when the scores were at 74. Hashan scored only 8 and gone next. Last Sri Lankan recognized batsman Sanath scored just a one run. Ashoka gave some support to Arjuna and scored 16. When the score was at 151, Sri Lankan highest scorer Arjuna goes for 50. Playing on his 99th game Arjuna scored his 18th 50. He scored his last 50 against Bangladesh on December 31, 1990. After scoring 50 not out against New Zealand at Moritawa in 1984, this is the first time Arjuna scoring a 50 against the same opponent. During these seven years he played 14 games in between with Kiwis. After he departs Champaka goes for a duck and Ramesh goes for 19, leaving Sri Lanka all out for 165 and 33.1 overs. Ramesh had a little cameo in the last stage and he hit two massive sixers. Watson took three wickets. Rest of the six bowlers took a wicket each. Reed bowled for the first time and Ramesh was his first wicket. Ken took the wicket of Champaka as his 10th one-day wicket in addition to his catch in the field. Rutherford's 9th 50 gave him the opportunity to win the Man of the Match award. His performance gave New Zealand an easy victory of 107 runs. That concludes the one-day series. New Zealand beat Sri Lanka to 3-0. Let's find out what happened in the two practice games and second test in our next episode.